Hey guys, NCWQ here. I hope you all are doing well today. Me? <laughs> it is hot, hot, hot here. We have an extensive heat warning going on for our area. It just got back from being outside and the inside of my car said it was 105. And my weather on my computer is reading that it should be 93 degrees, which feels like 103, but my car is reading 105, so I'm going to go with what my car says, because you know what? Without any AC, I was baking. Um, anyway, I had to do some running around this morning. I'm sorry I was not on earlier today. I uh, had to do some running around. My electric bill came in. I had to go to the office and tell them there's definitely a problem and they're going to call PwC and have the meter checked because my bill is double what it usually is and I, being on disability, I'm not going to be able to pay it. So I might be going without electric because I can't afford what that bill is. It was way too much for me. Um, Norm, my normal bill is about $98 a month. And for some reason, last month it had gone up to like 158 And this month it is hitting almost 250 And there is just no way. Um, that costs more than my car insurance, more than my phone bill, more than my other bills. So, yeah, just not feeling good about this, trying to figure out where I can go, what I can do. Um, they're going to call and have the meter check, but either way, I'm still probably going to have to pay the bill because that's the bill that was sent out, and I don't know when they're going to come to test it. I just know that I got the apartment complex called and asked them to come out and test my meter and several other people, so we'll see. It could be that it's just been so hot out that my AC hasn't been keeping up and been on running and uh even my apartment hasn't been staying cool it's been really hot my inside of my house has been hitting about 75 80 degrees and outside's been 100 and even if i had it set like i had it set at 67 degrees it was still hitting around that and then with the heat outside it's just been having a hard time staying caught up so might have been just that it's been running and running and running oh <sighs> so anyway i set it higher because that's what my landlord suggested that i do so i did that so we'll see what happens um i just don't want to be too hot inside my house also um yeah there weren't a whole lot of people out driving today which was nice but still had some people i almost watch some people rear end each other you know that would have been definitely something i didn't need to see but it almost happened and uh, i'm glad that it didn't those people would have been eating the rear end of a car and another car almost ate the rear end of another car behind them so yeah that wouldn't have been good but anyways i hope y'all are doing well I was just looking at the weather with you guys let's look at some earthquakes real quick to see if there's anything going on today that we need to be looking at. It looks like there's been a 6.5.8 in Samoa Island region. Let's go take a peek at this one. That's down there near New Zealand. So let's put this into Google Earth here and go take a peek at it. Sorry, you guys, my brain is, is on what's going on with my electric bill right now. I'm not really concentrating. Um, this moves at 237 millimeters per year. This is a subduction zone and is also, if I can click on it, a subduction zone and that's Pacific Australian convergent boundary there. And then this is Haifa over here, Hanifo, Falahu, Tafahi, and this volcano here is Karakoa, and this is a submarine volcano over here.
Can't really see anything straight up there. Let's see what else we've got on the menu here. So I haven't really looked through the earthquakes today. I've just been really busy. Canada is still having some earthquakes ongoing. I wouldn't make too much about the earthquakes that are going on off of Canada. I think that what I'm seeing is that this has happened a long time ago. So if I can find this article that I was reading. And it was put out by Canada itself. Um, It was put out March 21st, 2024. And this article suggested that there were 2,000 earthquakes in one day off the Canada coast. And they suggested that the ocean floor is ripping apart is what scientists are saying. The record earthquake activity off the coast of Vancouver Island hits at the birth of a new oceanic crust. Um, they're saying the quakes there aren't any threat to people. They're relatively small and centered on a spot called the Endeavor site about 150 miles off the coast of Vancouver Island. This spot hosts a number of hydrothermal vents and sits on the Juan de Fuca Ridge where the ocean floor is spreading apart. Let's go over there real quick. And we'll go show you all this. You can see the Endeavor Sea Mount is here. Um, it sits on the Juan de Fuca Ridge where the ocean floor is spreading apart. This area is a separate from the subduction zone, a region where one tectonic plate is sinking into the mantle underneath another plate closer to the coast than can be create large destructive earthquakes. And this was stated by Zoe Cross, a doctoral candidate in marine geophysics in the University of Washington. Mid-ocean ridges aren't actually capable of producing that large of earthquakes, not too far above magnitude 5, and they're not going to trigger the other big one on the subduction zone. The quakes are interesting scientifically because they can reveal details about how the ocean floor pulls apart and forms new crust. The, the Endeavor site, the Pacific Plate, and Juan de Fuca plates are pulling apart. This stretching creates long linear fault lines and thins the crust, enabling magma to rise up. When the magma reaches the surface, it cools and hardens and becomes a new ocean crust. The Endeavor site is monitored continuously as part of the Northeast Pacific Time Series Undersea Networked Experiences experience, Experiments. Neptune, run by Ocean Networks Canada. Since 2018, the region has become more seismically active. On March 6, however, the activity went wild with at least 200 small earthquakes shaking the seafloor per hour. In all, the researchers detected 1,850 quakes in a single day. The vast majority are less than magnitude one. They, there's these little pops but it's pretty cool because it allows them to track where things are happening, where things are breaking, and where things are moving around. Cross said the most likely reason for the quakes is that the seafloor is stretched to its maximum extent and has built up a great deal of stress. At the Endeavor site, this happens when the plates pull apart by about 3.3 feet or one meter, she said, and the stress is ultimately relieved when magma rises up into the thin crust and cools. This happens on an approximately 20 year cycle, as you said, which puts the area right on schedule. The last time it was this seismically shaky was in 2005. Since March 6, the earthquake activity has calmed down, though at a slightly heightened background level. She and her colleagues are now watching closely. The continuous monitoring of the Endeavor site began in 2011, so the team hasn't had access to near real data of magma intrusion like this before. They have many questions ranging from the impact on the hydrothermal vent system to the source of the magma that will ultimately form the new crust. 
So anyways, just so you know, this area up here is being monitored by sci scientists. And they believe that it is birthing of a new oceanic crust. So we just keep an eye on this area as to what is going on and pay attention when any new earthquakes occur. Um, as far as I can tell, because it's not really happening on the subduction zone, I wouldn't worry about it. This earthquakes out of here are mostly not felt on land. The only time I'd really worry is if it actually caused a tsunami. And so far, no tsunamis have been caused because of it. <coughs> several, several uh, buoys have gone off because of the earthquakes that have gone on out here. But that's to be expected as you have floor movement, which would be causing the buoys to actually move. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I don't know why I thought I saw that there was a Florida quake again, but I didn't because, you know, I was just thinking that there was. I'm not seeing anything big, so that's good. I've gone back seven hours now. That's seven hours. Let's go back 12 hours. I like to just do 12 hours. Anything past that is too long. So not seeing really anything in 12 hours other than that one earthquake, which is good. So hopefully it stays with that and we don't see anything bigger. We've seen a 5.8 here. It was 10 kilometers deep, Samoa Islands region. And that is the one that we just spoke about. Let's see what my weather looks like here. Well, we'll see what, what what's going on tropically. I don't know that there's anything new yet. There might be. And there's nothing yet. So that is a good thing. There is one off of the coast over here, but this one has been moving this way. And this one has a 40% chance of forming into something more than than just a tropical wave, so keep an eye on this. Um, this one here is moving west northwestward, so it's moving like this. So hopefully it doesn't come back this way. Anyways, something to keep an eye on. All right, you guys. I hope y'all are doing well today. Yeah, you've heard my drama. Sorry I wasn't on earlier. Just have a lot going on. Hopefully they'll come out here and check my meter. Then my next next bill won't be so high. Just it really, really shocked me. And yeah, I, I ended up going to my office and talking to them. Let me know what you guys' bills have been. I know that I've been hearing some people are getting some crazy bills. And I know that uh, PwC, who I'm through, is actually going up over the next two years 4% in their billing. So I expected my bill to go up, but not like that. Um, that's way more than 4%. <laughs> that's a lot more than 4%. I mean, if you're used to having bills that are $98, hey, but when you're hitting over 200, then you know you got an issue. Anyways, you guys, I will chat at you guys later. I hope y'all are doing well. Please be good to yourselves and each other. Much love. Oh, and P.S. If I ever end up having to go without electric, I'll use my cell phone. All right, you guys. Love you.